I know it's here somewhere. Finally, finally. Oh, it's time for the duck. You're listening to Dr. Bill, the computer curmudgeon. Ah, uh, take it away, Doctor. Dr. Bill, the computer curmudgeon, is brought to you this week by Roku. Well, it's that time again, and the doctor is in. It's time for another Dr. Bill, the computer curmudgeon, netcast. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes, and this week we have lots of stuff. Lots and lots of stuff. Now, here's the thing. I'm trying new lights. I'm trying new things. I am always experimenting, much to my wife's chagrin. <laughs> Because she knows it usually means I have to buy something. This time, though, my experiments involve not buying anything, but just using the things I have that I had quit using using before that I had bought. I'm sure that made sense to someone. <laughs> yeah, I know, not to you, Fred. <laughs> Fred's a very pragmatic guy. Have you noticed that? Yes. He can also be a little surly. But then if your name was spelled P-H-R-E-D, you might be surly too. No offense, Fred. Don't put up anything nasty. He puts this stuff up on the screen. Yeah. Most of you know that, but I wanted to tell the folks who are joining us for the first time going, what? <laughs> they do that a lot, I notice, the first time they join us. Okay, <laughs> we are proud members of the Tech Podcast Network, techpodcast.com. If it's tech, it's right here on Dr. Bill the Computer Curmudgeon. I am Dr. Bill the Computer Curmudgeon, as you might well know, <laughs> or at least suspect, since I'm the only one on camera at the moment. Anyway, Fred, of course, is behind the scenes, so he's not on camera. Anyway, I digress. Let's look at the blog, shall we? The blog, of course, is drbill.tv, D-R-B-I-L-L.tv, as it says on the screen. Microsoft suggests backing out of a security patch from Patch Tuesday. Microsoft has been really, really messing up these days. Just saying. But anyway, yes, uh, tech giant Microsoft has recommended that an update released in the latest Patch Tuesday be removed. After users reported incidents of the blue screen of death, the old blue screen of death, after installation. Yes. BSODs. We're all familiar with them. That blue screen. You know, in Windows 8, it's now kind of a purplish. Well, it's no, I guess it's still kind of bluish. But it's a happier screen because it has a little emoticon thing on it. <laughs> anyway. Microsoft just keeps doing lame things, I'm just saying. So you may want to consider backing out of your security patch if it's causing you blue screens of death. If not, I would leave it alone. You know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Microsoft. <laughs> Couldn't resist. All right, next item, word blah. Easy for me to say. WordPress blogs. <laughs> are under a major attack. Yes. Check your usernames and passwords and harden them. In other words, just password. That don't cut it. You know what I'm saying? No, use something severe with lots of lower and upper cases and exclamation points and pound signs and numbers and stuff. Actually, past phrases are good too. You know, like, I like apples. Period. That's not actually a bad thing for a password because it's got spaces in it. But anyway, it's just an observation. So, uh, hackers are aiming at blogs running poorly secured WordPress configurations in an attempt to create a powerful botnet. I hate those. According to independent security researcher Brian Krebs, it already accounts for some 9,000 IPs. The attack appears to use brute force password guessing as revealed by security and network companies in separate investigations and incident forensics. Watch out, folks. People are out to get you. I'm telling you. 
you know, I've often said the internet is like the wild, wild west. You got to be a, you know, kind of a gunslinger at heart. You know what I'm saying? I have stuff in my pocket. I have my beeper because I'm on call from work. So I'll put that there so it won't be rattling in my pocket. And I have my phone. <laughs> I'd always have my phone, but I do at the moment. That noise you hear is me pushing it onto the table in front of me. I like to explain strange noises so you don't go, squirrel! <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. So we were talking about... Whoa! <laughs> okay, Fred. Fred says, you're getting boring. I'm moving on. I know you pretty well, Fred. Yes, I do. Okay, Geek Software of the Week this week. Now, I, I sometimes tell you that I haven't had a chance to try it. Dude, I tried this big time. I had an actual need for the actual software. And I went and found... I, I used to use one that did the same thing as this. And this is better. This is way better. So any that I've told you about like this, this is better. Okay, you're going, what in the world is it? Uh, it is WinCD Emu. <laughs> Emu. Emu stands for emulator. So it's the Windows CD emulator software. It's open source. Da -da. Yes. Should have said open source and then gone da -da, because I kind of, my lips went weird. But anyway, yes, what it is is the ability to mount an ISO file as a CD letter, which is handy. And I had a need to do that. And, you know, when you got to do that, you just got to do that. Because I don't want to have to burn a CD just so I can put it in a PC. To You know what I'm saying? I'd rather just go ahead and mount the ISO file like it was a CD, and we're good. So, that's what this does. It is an open source CD, DVD, BD emulator. A tool that allows you to mount optical disk images by simply clicking on them in Windows Explorer. If you've downloaded an ISO image and want to use it without burning it to a blank disk, WinCD Emu is the easiest way to do it, and I totally concur. This software rocks the house, okay? It's totally free because it's open source. You cannot go wrong with a software. I'm just saying, okay? So check it out. Now, our sponsor this week is Roku. I love my Roku. Where's my Roku remote? This is my Roku remote. You're familiar with that. I've shown it to you before. Roku just rocks. I nearly watch everything on the Roku these days. And the thing about Roku is you can get a very special, special deal on a Roku device by clicking on our website, there's a big red box there on the, uh, let's see, if you look at the page, it'd be on the right-hand side. Scroll down the page a bit, and you'll see a thing that says, Meet Roku 3, our most powerful streaming box ever. And you click on that, but when you click on it, it will take you to the Roku site where you can see all the Rokus and pick out the one that you want. And if you click through the ad on my site on drbill.tv, it helps the doctor, helps the show, and it's just good for you. It will make you happy. And you want to be happy. Yes. So, do that. Okay? Roku is an awesome sponsor. We appreciate them greatly. And, of course, I would be remiss if I did not mention that we have our very own Roku channel for the Dr. Bill Show. It is called drbillbailey.net netcast. Long name, great shows on that channel, okay? So we have all of our shows that we do on that channel. That's this show, drbill.tv, Vertzine, the magazine of virtualization and cloud computing, the handheld hack, and the Word of Faith netcast, all on that Roku channel, dude. So check that out, all right? And by the way, as I've said before, give us five stars. Click, click, click the five stars, and then that will raise up our our value in the Roku universe, and more people will become addicted to the silliness. <laughs> My secret plan to take over the world. Okay, it's not so secret, but it's a plan. 
Anyway, this next item, dude. <laughs> An idea for the plot of the next Star Wars movie from Parks and Recreation. I don't, I don't watch Parks and Recreation. You know, it sounds like a very odd show, for sure. But there's this guy, an actor, who plays a part on Parks and Recreation. And he was called upon to do a filibus. Blah, 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 blah. That's not what he was called upon to do. <laughs> I'm, I'm winding that back. Called upon to do a filibuster segment on the show. And they told him, just go with it. He could do it on anything. And he could talk about anything as long as he did it for a very long time. Yes. And so the actor in question, Patton Oswalt, chose to do... See, there's somebody calling me on a Saturday. You don't call me on Saturdays. Because I might be doing the show. So I'm not answering it. It'll just go ringy, ringy, ringy in the background. And you'll be going, Don't you care who it is? What if it's... What if it's phone uh, people calling up to sell you something? Well, they'll just have to sell it to my answering machine, won't they? <laughs> what do you call those people? Phone spammers. I don't know. Anyway, don't call me on Saturdays. Just saying. So, uh, if I was being called, by the way, the people that are wondering, what if you're being called... Uh, because of something happening at work on call, well, they would call the beeper. Or they would call my cell phone, not my home phone. They just don't do that. Okay? So don't worry. Be cool. All right. So this guy, Pat Oswalt, he jumped into a filibuster segment on Star Wars and X-Men and many other strange geeky things. It was the geek culture segment that took over the interwebs. <laughs> so I encourage you to go check it out. And you can go to my website, drbill.tv, D-R-B-I-L-L.tv, and it's right there on the first page, at least today. And you can click on it and watch it right there, or you can go to the old YouTube, and you can check it out there. Patton Oswalt's Star Wars Filibuster. Oh, man. <laughs> very, very cool and bizarre. All right, here's one that means something to me, but you may not care about. Just saying. Unless you, too, have websites that have ads on them. One of the ways you can do that is through, or at least you used to be able to do that, is through the Google Affiliate Network. They're shutting down the Google Affiliate Network. Now, they're not shutting down AdWords. They're not shutting down it. Just specifically, the uh, Affiliate Network is shutting down which is problematic from my point of view because a lot of the ads that are on my websites come from the Google Affiliate Network. And a lot of the vendors, like Roku even this week, I get to through the Affiliate Network. So that's that's a bummer. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, I mean, it's not like you make money hand over fist. It's like a buck here and a buck there occasionally. But it's it's nice. You know, Google being nice... They, they seem to be less nice than they used to be. Just saying. Anyway. Yeah, I know. I've got a guy at work that tells me Google is evil. He hates all things Google. But he loves all things Microsoft. So I think maybe there's a screw a little bit loose. But anyway, that's okay. I'll hear about that one if he sees the show. Anyway. Next item. This is not a Geek Software of the Week, although it could be very well, but I just couldn't resist. I, I wanted to go ahead and put it out there. And that is OpenVAS. OpenVAS? I don't know how they pronounce it, but it's OpenVAS in any case. The VAS is Vulnerability Assessment System. Not so easy for me to say. <laughs> anyway, Vulnerability assessment system okay what it does it's like a virtual appliance that you can install and then from that appliance through a web interface it allows you to scan your network and find security holes and vulnerabilities and all kinds of issues and they they update it like you know an antivirus uh 
signature updates. They have updates that are as high as 30,000 as of April 2013, which is basically this month. So, dude, and it's totally open source free software, and uh, they're all licensed under the uh, the new general public license, new GPL license, and so they're totally free. So, dude, so you can get this for your network and you can try it out and see what you think. Now, the last item for this week that I want to, that at least comes from the web, from my website, from the blog, <laughs> is a new version of the VLC player is out. Now, the VLC player is my very favorite media player. It plays audio files. It plays video files. It plays any kind of files. It plays any format of files. It plays internet radio. It plays everything. It's open source, totally free, and awesome. So you should be using it. And if you are using it, you recently probably got prompted that there's a new version out, which is uh, VLC 2.0.6, which is two flower. Sounds very Native American, doesn't it? Two flower. Anyway, VLC Media Player 2.0.6 is an update for security and bug fixing. Always a good thing. It notably improves support for MKV, OG, which is open source format audio and video. Uh, there's OG Vorbis and then there's OG. Do -do 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 -do. OG Vorbis and. What's the other one? Sigh. Okay, time to search the old web for Og. You know, when you can't remember certain things, sometimes you just have to go look them up. The Og Codex. <laughs> Og Vorbis and Og Theora. Okay, so anyway, I, don't know why I couldn't remember that. They're open source. I'm supposed to know all about open source. It's the old whack. Anyway. All right, so AUG ASF and SRT support. It also fixes GPU decoding on Windows on Intel GPUs, and it fixes ALAC and FLAC decoding. And here's another cool thing. It introduces a new compiler for Windows. Cool. So there you go, VLC player. Now, this isn't on the blog, but I'll go ahead and mention it. Amazon is creating a bunch of new TV programs, and they want you to check them out. If you go to their website, you can check out 14 new programs that they have put out there as pilots. And if you approve them, they will go ahead and order 13 episodes for a full season, and you'll have new shows to watch. They're like becoming their own little network. How cool and weird is that? So anyway, check that out. I, I just heard about that when I was on my Roku box. You know how much I was talking about how I love the Roku. Well, I was on a Roku box and I was playing, and I saw them, and I went, hey, that's pretty cool. So check it out. Just saying. All righty, it's that time again for the doctor to say that the doctor is out of here. Dr. Bill the Computer Curmudgeon is a production of DrBillBailey.net with all the honors, rights, and privileges thereunto appertaining.